Good morning guys. Let's see decision making structures in C++. We have if, if else and switch statements in C++ for decision making. Fine. Let's see if, if expression can execute this block of instruction. What does it mean? If expression is true, execute this block of instruction. If expression is false, don't execute this block of instruction. Let's see this in a program. Int a equals to 5, b equals to 2. If a is greater than b, see out a. Fine. So what these statements are doing? Firstly, we are declaring a and b. Then we are checking whether a is greater than b or not. So in our case, a is greater than b. So the output of this expression is true. So this block of instruction will be executed. So you will get a in the output that is 5. Fine. So how you if a statement works? If expression is true, then execute this block of instruction. If expression is false, then don't execute this block of instruction. Let's see if else. If expression is true, then execute this block of instruction. Else, execute this block of instruction. If expression is true, execute this block of instruction. Else, execute this block of instruction. So, if A is greater than B, then execute this block. Else, C out B. Fine. If A is greater than B, then execute if block. Else, execute else block. Fine. Suppose, if we make A is equals to 1. Fine. So, now, a is not greater than B. This expression comes out to be false. So this block will not be executed. What will be executed? Else block. That means in the output we will get B. B value is 2. So we will get 2 in the output. Fine. In a single statement. Fine. In a single statement you can have as many if else as many as many if else as many as you want if else in the else part again you are having if again you are having if else in the else part again you are having if else so you can have as many if else as you want in a single program or you can have switch statement many times you can replace this this if else with a single switch statement Let's see switch statement. Switch expression case 1 then this case 1 block case 2 then case 2 block and as many as case and an n block and a default case and a default block fine so how you see this statement is working you are having switch expression fine if expression value comes out to be one then case one will be executed Case 1 will be executed. If expression value comes out to be 2, then case 2 will be executed. Fine. So, the value of expression determines which case to be executed. But, there is one issue here. Suppose, if my expression value comes out to be 1, 
then whatever is from case 1 till this ending all case will be executed again repeating if expression comes out to be 1 then case 1 will be executed and after that case all other cases will be executed till you reach your end of switch statement fine so what we do we do break fine with this break if output of expression is 1 then case 1 will be executed and the case 1 we are having break statement as well so now the there is break from this loop and these cases will not be executed. Fine. And we will get out of this switch statement. So always remember only in some special cases otherwise practically we always require break statement. Fine. So in each case you are supposed to have break statement. Fine. Case 1, case 2, case n. What is default? Default is a special case which can handle any value which your cases are not handling. Suppose if I am having case 1 to 20, let n be 20, right? So when you are getting expression is 100, who will handle this statement? Who will handle this output? This default case will handle this output. Whatever is not handled by your earlier cases will be handled by your default case. So suppose if expression is 100, then definitely 1, 2 and up to 20, there is no match. So default case will be executed. Fine. So this is your switch statement. Fine. So in this video, we have learned about if, if, else and switch. Thank you.